In a recent video, we told you that if you're planning to return to Canada, you'll need to download the Arrive Can app and submit your information before you board your flight home. So it, it makes sense that we would show you what an Arrive Can process looks like so that you'll understand exactly what you'll need to do. So let's go through the steps. First, we're assuming that you've downloaded the Arrive app and registered. And a link to the app is in the description below. All right, so we first open up the app. And we see where it asks how we're entering Canada. And we have a choice by enter by air, by land, or by marine. And then below that, there's some important travel information. And if you click one of these icons, it'll take you to a government website with further information about uh, these topics. Uh, for example, if we go self-isolation with uh, no symptoms, click that one. It'll open up a government website um, and how you can quarantine at home if you don't have any symptoms of COVID-19. So we'll just go back to the app here and scroll up to entry by air because that's what we'll assume for this example. So the first question is your travel exempt because there are exemptions. Uh, we'll say yes just to show you what they are. There's cross-border services, essential services, medical support and trade or transport services. Uh, none of these apply to us of course so we'll hit uh, no and ask what the purpose of the travel is and there's a list of them here. We'll select the one at the very top which is family reunification just for this example select that and next and then we select how we're getting to Canada this is the airport that we'll be arriving in uh, and we'll select Ottawa as the example the airline will find Air Canada down a little bit further there it is uh, flight number will choose let's say 007 because that's a cool number and then we hit date and we'll select let's select December 31st at 7 15 there we select that don't know if this is an actual flight but uh, here we go and then we re register our travel document we'll select passport and then we're taken to where we can take a photo of our information we select our passport and this information is loaded automatically so check to make sure that everything is correct hit next Uh, and then we indicate whether there's another traveler or not. For this example, there won't be. We'll select the destination type, which will be, for us, returning home. Uh, this is where we're going to be isolating for the next 14 days. Uh, the street number, we're going to choose a fictional address. It's probably a real address, but it's not ours. We'll select 1181 Portage Avenue in Winnipeg. Don't know why that showed up, but we'll select that one. This is your address. Sorry about that. And then we'll select next. Uh, we'll put in a fake phone number. Let's put 250-444-1. Uh, and, of course, our email address is automatically populated and then we'll select the language we'll select English and then next and then we do the self assessment and quarantine information uh, here we say whether or not we have accommodation where we can quarantine for 14 days and there's an explanation there we'll select yes for this of course that we do have that accommodation And then next, 
Um, are there vulnerable people at the location where we plan to quarantine? We'll say no for that. And then is your quarantine accommodation a group living arrangement like or environment like group home or seniors residence? Uh, we'll say no for that one as well. Next. Can you have food, medication, or other necessities delivered to the accommodation while in quarantine? We'll say yes for that. And are you or any of the travelers listed on the form experiencing any of the symptoms below? We'll say no. Next. And there we go. That's the information that you need to submit. And then if you're ready, you click submit at the bottom of this page and you're done. So that's what you need to do. If you need to come back to Canada, please fill this information out. You have to fill this information out prior to boarding your flight. Okay, there you go. It's exceptionally easy, but again, it's important to remember that you'll need to submit the information through the app before you board your flight. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button if you found this useful and please subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time.